let's look at the shapes of some common graphs. This will help us when we visualize certain functions. So for example, let's say we have f of x equals x. Well, what's the exponent? If it's not shown, we know it's a 1, and we generally don't write the 1, but that means that we have a degree of 1, and that there's one possible solution and one possible intercept. This graph, with a degree of 1, will be a straight line. If we move this over to our graph, our grid, this line will go through the, the origin, 0, 0, and be positively sloped up to the right. Well, what happens if we change some parameters of our function? Well, I'll move this over here for a second. And let's say that we're going to make it a negative x instead of a positive x. How does that affect our line? Well, what it does is changes the slope from a positive to a negative. So if I move this back over to the graph, we'll see that it still goes through the origin, but it's got a negative slope instead of a positive slope. And what else can we do? Well, let's move it over here for a second. And we'll say, let's add 2. Well, the shape of the graph stays exactly the same. It's negatively sloped. But in this case, we'll just simply be shifting up the y-axis a couple of points. So let's go back to our original spot, negative slope through the origin, 0, 0. Let's go up two units in the uh, y direction, so or f of x direction, 1, 2. And there we go. There's the graph of a straight line, negative x plus 2. Anything with degree 1 will be a, a straight line. And we know that it has one possible solution and one possible intercept. And in our case, we know we can see the x-intercept right there. Let's look at another example. Let's say we had f of x equals x squared. Well, we have a degree of 2. That means there's two possible solutions, two possible intercepts, and the shapes of that graph is a parabola, or a smiley face, if you like. Well, let's see what happens when we put this over onto our grid. This one's going to go through the point. The vertex will be at 0, 0, and it'll be opening up. Again, what happens if we change some of the parameters? Well, let's see if we do like we did last time. We will put uh, a negative in front of the x. When we do that, the graph just simply flips over. So it points down instead of up. And if we move this over to our grid, still go through the point 0, 0, but it will be pointing down instead of up. All right, let's add some more. Let's say that we add 3 to our parabola. Still going to be negative. Still going to open down. But in this case, just like before, start at 0, 0, and go up 3 units, 1, 2, 3 units in the y direction, or f of x direction. Again, we just talked about having two possible solutions, and we can see that, or intercepts as well, so we can see them here. Here and here are the intercepts. Let's look at one more function. Let's say we had f of x equals x cubed. Cubic function, degree of 3, three um, possible solutions, three possible intercepts. These types of functions look like snakes. They go like this. Now, if we, we know it starts at the bottom left and moves up to the top right, and again, if we move it over to our grid, we'll see that it goes through the origin okay, and has that particular shape. Well, like before, let's see what happens if we change some parameters. Let's add the negative in front and see what happens. Well, like before, what happens is that it flips, like so. So if we move it over to our grid, it goes through the origin still, 0, 0, but it starts at the top left and moves down to the bottom right. Well, what happens if we change some more parameters? Let's say that we add 2. In this case, it will simply stay uh, as a negative, stay from the top left to the bottom right, but it would simply move up two units in the y direction, or f of x direction. So we have our point here, and we just go up one, two, and that's what our function will look like. Now, we know that it has degree of three, there's three possible solutions, but in this case, there's, we'll see that it only has one, uh, one intercept, which is located right here, and that's okay. That means it has a maximum of three solutions. It can have less, and in this case, it just has one. So, 
Let's summarize what we know about some three types of common graphs. If we have f of x equal to x, degree of 1, we know it's going to be a straight line. Anything with that shape, uh, degree of 1 will be a straight line. If we have f of x equals x squared, we know that it's going to be a parabola shape. And if we have f of x equal to x cubed, then we know it's going to be some kind of snake type uh, effect.